Sean Lissens from here in the special for The Whistle. The World Cup in soccer is coming up and here is the official 2014 World Cup soccer ball. Can you see how cool this thing looks? The question is though, will it be as controversial as the last one? I've noticed that there always seems to be a big stir around the official World Cup soccer ball. To help explain this, let's first look at how the ball has changed over the years. Up until 2006, the ball was composed of the traditional 32 panels. A design called the Buckminster Ball after an American architect, Richard Buckminster Fuller, who came up with the design as he was trying to find new ways of constructing buildings using a minimal amount of materials. In 2006, the construction of the ball was changed completely. The new ball had 14 smooth and now thermally bonded panels. This ball looked cool and when it was time to design a ball for the 2010 World Cup in South Africa, the pressure was on to top the 2006 ball. Welcome the Jabulani ball. The number of panels of the Jabulani was now down to 8. A perfectly round ball they called it. And really, shouldn't this be a good thing? So the thing is, uh, the big design difference makes the ball different to the traditional stitched 32 panel ball in two major ways shorter length of seams and shallower seams as they were no longer stitched together. The result was a smooth ball but it had a floating beach ball kind of behavior at high speeds. So the issue was that forwards had problems shooting it and then goalies had problems catching it. Alright that brings us back to the bazooka ball and you think that they would have learned a lesson by now and gone back to a greater number of panels but that is not the case. We're now down to six panels but instead of being smooth they've roughed them up. They are still put together through thermal bonding but instead of being really shallow they've actually made the seam a lot deeper again kind of like back to the old stitched 32 panel ball. In addition Adidas spent two and a half years testing this ball using 600 players in 10 different countries making it the most tested ball that they have ever made. Uh, everyone seems to love it so far, but how it holds up in the games, well, you just have to wait and see. All right, if you like this video, make sure you check out some of the other videos that we've done for The Whistle, and also make sure to check out our new Untamed Science Sports channel. Go ahead, subscribe so we can continue making these videos. See you next time.